In this video, you will see how to extract the building footprints and save it as a shapefile in ArcGIS Pro using deep learning. We will use ESRI's pre-trained deep learning model. To be able to use deep learning in ArcGIS Pro, you need to install deep learning libraries. If you want to know how to install the deep learning libraries for ArcGIS Pro, you can watch the video in our channel. Now let's download the pre-trained Esri's building footprint deep learning model. For that, go to browser and search for ArcGIS Living Atlas and go to the website of Living Atlas. Now you can search anything here. Search for building footprint extraction USA and we will download this one for USA click on this three dot and download the download has been started now we can check the other properties of this model Here are some important things you should know that this image has been trained with 10 to 40 centimeter imagery so we should use 10 to 40 centimeter imagery for object detection and the model architecture here used is mask rcnn and you can check other things if you want to know our model is already downloaded this is the pre-trained model that we have already downloaded. Now we are in ArcGIS Pro. We will use the world imagery base map as our imagery to detect building. You can add this base map from the base map. Now let's zoom into the unit stairs since the model has been trained for unit stairs. let's use this site to detect the buildings for that go to geoprocessing if you do not find the geoprocessing toolbar here you need to go to analysis and click on tools and then under image analyst tools you will find deep learning expand it and now select detect objects using deep learning At input to raster we need to select our world imagery base map and if we want to save it as shapefile we need to select a location outside of geo database let's select the folder and name it as building we need to save it in a folder and within the shape file let's save it and here we need to select the model that we have downloaded that is USA building for footprints and okay now for batch size we will select two since we do not have GPU and go to environment and select this draw extent button to draw an extent when you select the draw extent button a new shape file will be created for drawing extent let's move it up and select the extent we will select a smaller region because since here we are using a laptop without gpu so if we select 
a big region the, the processing will take much time now go to geoprocessing you can see that extent has been updated here and now within the cell size we will define the cell in meter since the model has been trained on 10 meter 10 centimeter to 40 centimeter image let's write here 10 centimeter that means 0 0.1 meter click on run button the object detection has been started if you want to see the details you can click here and see the update you can also see the uh, update and progress here also the process is almost done and the detection of objects is going on and you can see that a new shapefile has been created that called building now if we look at the detections we can see that some of the buildings has been successfully detected but some of the very clear buildings has not been detected so the model with these parameters that we have set have not worked well now let's run another detection with changing some parameters go to processing again and let's make it building 2 and let's keep these arguments as it is and go to the environments the extent let's leave it as is and for the raster cell size let's use 30 centimeter that means 0 0.3 and see what happens and processor type cpu since we do not have a gpu let's run this since we have increased the cell size now the processing time will be shorter so that it will be much faster than previous The detection is almost done and you can see another shapefile has been created now we can see the detected buildings as well now let's close the geoprocessing toolbar if we turn off this we can see that this time the model has been worked much better than the previous one so it detects all the buildings that were not detected previously but since we increase the cell size and the tile size is bigger so it covers some of the uh, uh, buildings outside of our interest area it's not a problem we can delete the outside buildings if we want let's close this change the symbology Thank you. 
it's also the color let's turn off the extent now we can see the building shapes correctly but you can see that the shapes are pretty much irregular the building corner should be some sort of right angles so we need to fix that as well to regularize the building shape we need to go to geoprocessing and under 3d analyst tool and then expand 3d features and extraction here you will find the leg regularized building footprint click on that and select the building to and then if you want to save this shape select a location building regularized and okay and for tolerance we will use one meter and let's run this now if we close the building to turn off then we can see that the building shapes has been regularized although it is not perfect but the result is pretty decent thanks for watching